Before we get going, I know that we can't get to every single Dallas Cowboys question you guys have during our live shows. That's why my DMs are open on Twitter. Hit me up at WhatGoingDowny if you guys have questions, and I'll answer them because my DMs are open just for that reason. All right, from Dwayne, if McCarthy gets fired next year, does Kellen Moore get a shot at head coach like Jason Garrett, or will they bring in somebody else? Depends on why they, why they fire McCarthy. If the offense is suddenly bad, then no, of course not. If McCarthy makes a bunch of bad decisions along the way, then maybe. I do think that Jerry loves Kellen Moore, and he'd try it again with a young, hot, offensive, innovative mind that maybe it works this time, maybe it doesn't. We will deal with that once we get there. From Bass Attack TV, could we get a second rounder for Jalen Smith? Uh, no. I, I genuinely don't know what NFL team would offer a second rounder for Jalen. 2018 Jalen, yes. Current Jalen, no. There's no reason to do that whatsoever. From Billy Edwards, should Dallas go get J.J. Watt since Houston is a dumpster fire? I appreciate the, the, the colorfulness there. Um, as a pure player, sure, J.J. Watt is awesome, and his sack numbers were down because Houston sucked, and he didn't have that many chances to rush the passer, and that's just how NFL defenses work. Um, from a let's be realistic here in terms of what we would be giving up, probably not. He's going to cost $17.5 million next year. You're going to pay that for a guy that's 32 years old? And it's hurt a lot? I can't do it. If he's cut, yes. Trade, I can't, I just I, I can't do it. I'm sorry. So who do you guys want to trade for? I guess if JJ redoes his deal, it's a whole different conversation. But at his current price, no. So who do you guys want to make a deal for? No bad answers. I'm gonna regret this in the comment section. So head on down to the pinned comment. If you get the ad break here on YouTube, take advantage. Well, have it play. Scroll down and let me know who you want the Cowboys to trade for. From X2 Pro Skills, is there any way of getting Grady Jarrett to have at least one solid defensive tackle? There's an answer to our trade question. Um, I don't think so. Look, Atlanta is in a weird spot. In general, because where Jarrett's at in his career, I think they would hold on to him. I'm not sure what they'd even ask for him, but they don't have that many good defensive pieces, kind of like the Cowboys. Jarrett's one of the few. If you can get him, call. In reality, probably not. All right, from Augustus Lott, who do you think we should get with the number 10 pick? Not everyone agrees with me. I would very much like to get Caleb Farley, the cornerback from Virginia Tech. I think he fits what I like in a cornerback and what the Cowboys like. He's long, he's athletic, and take your drink, he's got ball skills. I want those playmakers with a top-end athleticism, that's the route I would go. From Raymond Lofton, what's the over-under on wins next year for the Cowboys? Um, nine and a half? It's the NFC East. They're not that good. The, the numbers are always higher for the Cowboys. And if they end up retaining Dak Prescott, I'd argue nine and a half. Producer Brett says eight. I'll take the over on eight. But... I don't know. I, mean, I think somewhere in that NFC East can contender makes the most sense. Guys, if you have questions, hit me up on Twitter. We cannot get to all of them during our live shows. We got Andrew people watching live. There's there's just too many questions, right? That's why my DMs are open. Hit me up at what going down. Delunatic, we signed KC defensive tackle Mike Pinnell and Atlanta safety Keanu Neal. Better defense. Mike Pinnell, one of like two of the dozen, two dozen fatties onlys who were actually decent this past year. Um, I would love to bring in Mike Pinnell. That helps me stop the run. I am on board with that one. I think he'd be fairly cheap too because he doesn't offer anything in the passing game. Keanu Neal, meanwhile, sure, he's a box safety. Kind of want to play Donovan Wilson in that role in that cover three style scheme. So sure, but he might not be the best fit. From Caesar Salad. Gross. I hate salads. Uh, could we afford Justin Simmons, Dak Prescott, and Dalvin Tomlinson? The short answer is yes, you can. There's a but, though. I, I want to make this point. The, the salary cap 
on a micro level does not exist. You can make it work for anyone, any two, well, even any three players. You can find a way to make the money work. That's how the Saints have been able to just spend money willy-nilly for years. And now they're paying the cost because they got a bunch of dead money from Drew Brees and other guys. So you can make it work. All you have to do is restructure guys, cut some guys, and spread money down the road and worry about it later. I think it's actually a decent plan. The Cowboys have not adopted that under Stephen Jones' regime. So because of that, although they can, the Cowboys would choose not to. And honestly, you might get one of those guys with the way the Cowboys run their organization. From Mazale, would you draft Malik Cunningham, that is the Louisville quarterback, in the 5th, 6th, or 7th round to play the Taysom Hill role? You lost me at the Taysom Hill role. I, I don't have any desire to do that whatsoever. Pretty sure Cunningham's going to go back to school, by the way. He was a lot better in 2019 than he was in 2020. But no, I'm not drafting anyone for the Taysom Hill role because why am I taking my top 10 quarterback off the field? I'm out. From Devin Smith, a Cowboys legend, tell me why Dallas should spend picks on the offensive line or, or, yeah, and build the Great Wall of Dallas. Find a new left tackle and get a great left guard. So I'm down to look into adding a left tackle because Tyron Smith's got injury concerns. Lael Collins was out of shape and then got hurt last year. I'm open to doing that. But guys, this organization cannot draft another guard to play opposite Zach Martin in the top 100. If you do that, since you took Connor Williams, which was a needed left guard, you took Connor McGovern, now you're adding unnamed left guard number three. You will have spent 25% of your available and used top 100 picks in, in the past four years on a guard. And you already have Zach Martin. That's trash roster building. You And you're going to wonder, why can't we stop the run? Why can't we field a good defense? Because you got three top 100 guys at left guard and you're playing one of them. You can't do that. So if you want to take an offensive lineman even early, okay. Spending multiple of your best picks on the O-line? No. Because you're going to wonder, well, our offensive line is healthy. We're scoring 40 points a game. Why are we 8-8? Eight and Because eight? you're allowing 50. Because your defense can't stop a nosebleed. So at that point, you can't do it. you got to focus this year's draft on defense. Which is what I'm going to emphasize all year long, or I guess all offseason long. We're going to look at defensive tackles and linebackers and safeties and corners in both free agency and the NFL draft. So if you want to stay updated on who the Cowboys are linked to here, let me know what you guys think in the comments section. It's youtube.com slash Cowboys TV. Alan Williams, Tom, <clears throat> producer Brett Earset, there you go. What the hell are the Jones waiting on to sign Dak? Seriously. Um, yes. Uh, the cap to get finalized, even though they have the best inside of anyone. I don't know. All right, from Brian Welch. What would it take to get Tyron Matthew since the Chiefs have Thornhill? Well, fun fact, actually. Couple, couple notes that I'd want to get into here and are totally not petty whatsoever. Uh, Tyron Matthew is in a scheme fit. Sorry, you can't bring him in. That's how that's how the Cowboys viewed it. This is all sarcasm, but by the way. Cowboys were like, oh, why would we draft Juan Thornhill? And then they just didn't do it. It, just, it didn't make any sense to me. But in all seriousness, uh, Juan Thornhill has not been starting for Kansas City since he came back from his injury. So how about trading for him? I'm in. I let's we're bringing it back, baby. Trade for Juan Thornhill. I'm gonna talk to my Chiefs guy here in a little bit and see what I can get. What I have to give up for him there. I'm all aboard the Juan Thornhill trade train, baby. <laughs> all right, from Dwayne Jackson. Over under how many first and second round trades will Dallas make? I say three. Give, uh, give me the under. The over under is at point five, and I think I might take the under because you're at ten now. You're just gonna stand pat. I, in fact, trades in the draft is under three. First and second round, guys, th th there will be a report from some hack who says, oh, Jerry wants to make a splash in the draft this year because it comes out every single year. 
and it hasn't happened in a very, very long time. From Annex the Scrub the first, should we give Dak five years, 165? That's 33 million. What? How? No. Dak tells you to F off. Th that is... That is less than the most recent negotiation between the Cowboys, but that was before the Watson-Mahomes deals. Like, you, you're going the wrong direction. 165 gets it done. $33 million per year? That's an insulting offer to Dak Prescott. God, no. Zachary Marquez, would it be possible to get the offensive lineman from Alabama in this draft? Uh, first question is, which one? Do you mean Landon Dickerson, the center guard combo from, uh, there? Do you mean Alex Leatherwood, who I think you mean, the tackle who could probably play some guard? Or do you mean Deontay Brown, who is a left guard? Leatherwood makes the most sense, so I'll approach it from that perspective. Maybe. Not at 10. If he's there in round two, I'm, I'm all aboard that plan. But I think that in terms of where he ends up going, probably going to be in between the Cowboys' top picks. From Brocro... Kov, if we lose Dan Quinn next year, would you like hiring Chris Hewitt as DC? That is the Ravens secondary coach. Sure. Uh, I want to see who else is available and what happens with the Cowboys defense. It's the If it's the, hey, this thing worked with Dan Quinn, shoot, you know who you probably end up hiring. If your defense is so good that Dan Quinn gets a new job, you know, you know who the answer is? Joe Witt. They just promote him. That's probably your most logical outcome there. From Lee and Carroll, Trade for Marshawn Lattimore and draft defensive line. Shit, where do I sign? Um, you got to start with the first rounder um, and probably some more because that's one of the best cover corners in the NFL. I love the idea. I'm not sure it's the most likely outcome, but God, Lattimore and Diggs? Oh, we can play cover one, baby. Let's go at that point. All right, Tristan Brown. Tom, pick five defensive players to keep. And go redraft the rest. Okay, I, I, I like this idea. All right. So I'm, I'm going to go with Demarcus Lawrence is sticking around. Trevon Diggs is going to stick around. Um, Donovan Wilson's going to stick around. So that's three of them. I'll keep Neville Gallimore. And I hate everyone else. Um, Randy Gregory? You could go like with, with a Chidabe Awuzie or or a Jalen Smith or an LVE, but you, in reality, you got like two and a half like obvious keepers. Like you're keeping Tank, you're keeping Diggs. I'm probably gonna keep Donovan Wilson. Honestly, I could have stopped there. Everyone else is either expensive or gonna be expensive or just not that good. So, all right, Alicia Melendez, did I get that right? Sorry. Uh, sign. You mean Mike Hilton? I think he'd be a fun duo with Diggs and possibly Fowler. So Mike Hilton is a nickel corner from the Steelers. And, yeah, I think he'd be a pretty good nickel for this team. Uh, doesn't fit the prototypes of what Dan Quinn is like, but he's been more amenable than, say, Chris Richard ever was at that uh, mindset. So I wouldn't mind that. I will say this. What if I could just take Asante Samuel in round two and have him be my nickel? Or Elijah Molden in, like, round two or round three? I don't love the idea of paying big money for a nickel because you can find those guys a little bit easier, but Hilton is a damn good one. All right, from JC, what do we have to give up to get Derwin James? A lot. Um, the Chargers hired Brandon Staley. And the thing that I love the most about Brandon Staley from his defense was that he's like, oh, we got Jalen Ramsey. Let's move him around. He can play the star position, which is kind of like this linebacker safety nickel overhang, and oh shit, that's Derwin James. Derwin James is a perfect fit for what Brandon Staley can do with his defenses. So even though I would love him, and oh, by the way, the Cowboys weren't going to take him in round one if he was there. They were taking LVE over him. Coming off the injury, I don't think it's all that likely. But it probably start with a first-round pick. All right, will the Cowboys win the NFC East in 2021? I say yes. Get your votes in. Why for yes and for no. Producer Methuselah Honeysuckle, he says yes. He is a true fan. Get your votes in here. Why for yes or and for no. From Alan Williams, ooh, it's an Earl Thomas super chat here. Do me a favor. Can you tell these fans to stop saying sign Earl Thomas to headache now? I ain't been a headache, man. Earl, Earl's, it's, it's not happening, all right? It's just, I think the Cowboys, 
are out on it all together. So don't get your hopes up for Earl Thomas. There's a reason that nobody in the NFL went after Earl Thomas whatsoever. Now, if we did not get to your question, don't worry, Dwayne. We'll get to your super chat in a second, I promise you. Follow me on Twitter. My DMs are open at what going down. He will put that link in the comments in the description, of course, as well. And you should probably follow me anyway, but whatever. Hit me up on Twitter at what going downy. From Dwayne Jackson, again, the last super chat here. Do you think Dak will be signed before the draft? If not, are the Cowboys evaluating other quarterbacks in the draft? And if so, what quarterbacks might be available at number 10, if any? The reality is, folks, that you have got to make your decision on Dak Prescott way before the NFL draft. You want to have that thing done before free agency. Now, the franchise tag extension deadline is after the NFL draft, so from that perspective, you can still be in, in limbo. But if you're the Cowboys and you're going to tag Dak again, you might lose him. So at that point, yes, you should evaluate your quarterback. You should have, you're, you're, you're already playing behind the eight ball because not paying Dak, but you got to look at QBs. Lawrence is gone. I think Wilson and Fields are both gone as well. Maybe Trey Lance is there at 10. I don't want Mac Jones over Dak Prescott. Truly, outside of Trevor Lawrence, you're, you should take Dak over all of the quarterbacks or just pay him. But if you don't have it done by them, you have to look. And you have to see, well, we're messing this up. Let's just move on. 